Yo, what is going on people and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys the keys. I have already made a video on this previously, but I didn't think I went into depth with it a lot. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions on this recently. And I'm also going to show you how to set keys up on your server, how to make them in your mod, and talk a bit about what keys actually do. Now, if this tutorial did help you out, please leave a like and a subscription. If you do need any help, you can leave a comment. Or you can head over to my Discord where not only I can help you out, but there's a lot of other people in there also that know some modding stuff. I'll see you in a minute and we'll get into the video. Firstly, you want to head over to Steam and you want to go to where it says Games. Click Tools and now you can see that you have Daisy Tools, Daisy Server, Daisy Experimental Server, Daisy Experimental and Daisy. Now you need Daisy tools for DSU tis. That's what makes the keys. So make sure you install that. Once you do, it'll come up with a menu just like this. This is the tool that you want to be using today. This is what it looks like. So once you've got this open, you can take a breath, have a drink, and I'll see you in a sec. So firstly, you want to create a key. So how you do that is you press this N button and it will give you a destination path. So this is where you'll be able to go to find this key when it is created. Now you need to make sure that this is checked marked so it does sign the files. And basically in authority name you can choose whatever name you want in there. Maybe a name that goes with your server. Maybe like um, a logo of your mod. So... Um, mine would be ML for example so I'm going to click create key yeah okay and now as you can see the path to my key is actually here now this add a source directory is basically where your mod is so you need to make sure that you have a mod set up and the way it needs to be set up is it needs to be set up in a filed structure. Now I've currently got absolutely no mods as I recently wiped my PC. So the way we're going to set it up is we're going to go and create a new folder and we're going to call it at whatever, whatever your mod name is. So say you guys are creating some loading screens for your server. So we're going to say loading screen this can be called whatever you want. Whatever your mod is, maybe it's a map, that'll be your map name, anything along the lines of that. Now you'll go in here and you'll create an add-ons folder. Now I need to explain this to you guys. The only time you need a keys folder is if you're making your mod public for people to download. So let's say you're a mapper and you're creating a map and you want people to actually play on your map. This is when you need a keys folder. But for example, for a loading screen, it's your mod and it's just going to be for your server most of the time. So in that case, you do not need a keys folder. This is only if you're making your mod public if other people want to use it on their server they will need it we're not doing that but i'm going to keep the keys folder here anyway so i can explain to you guys later if you do want to make your mod public so next we need to get an add-on so a pbo so that'll be what you pack obviously if you follow my loading screen tutorial you'll have a pbo and it should already be in here i'll be back in a minute i need to download a mod now i have a pbo in here it doesn't matter what the pbo is shout out to much stuff pack i'll have a link in the description this is not my mod but i'm just going to be using it as a template as you can do it with any mod so now you want to head over to this application. Now what you want to do is you want to find your Steam library, Daisy, and then go into the loading screen mod, click add-ons, and then click OK. As you can see, it says signed false. That means it's not got a biz sign in there. So this is what it is. Obviously, it'll all come up here with all your mods 
but we've only got one in there. Make sure you have these two enabled. Overriding signatures is obviously like if it's already got previous signature and you want to update the signature, it's here. Sign file list, so it shows you it here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click process files. Now if something's broken, it will become up with an X here. But looks like everything's safe on my end at the moment. It's processing it. It's going to be doing it. And now, as you can see, after it's done it, it comes up with a check mark. If something does not sign, this will show up red. If it does sign, it will show up green, as you can see. Now, as you can see, it's created my buy sign here. Now, the ML, if you remember when we created the key, when we press this M button and we called it ML, here we have that there and the buy sign is here this now you don't touch you keep this in the exact place where it is soon as you remove this out of your mod it is no longer signed and it will no longer work on your server and you'll probably get an error on your screen i'll show you it from someone's screenshot before you'll probably get something like this saying that you can't join the server as the server doesn't have anything like that what i want you guys to do now is I want you to go back to this private key here and I want you to highlight all of this code here control C it open a new folder and up at the top I want you to paste it in this folder like so now the private bit key you never ever give this out this is for you to keep and no one else now this ML dot buy key okay we are going to get this loading screen folder and i'm going to put it on my server okay so daisy server we're going to paste it inside of this folder now it's loading up and as you can see here we have a keys folder now remember this now remember this is just for your server not for a public mod you need to put it in here remember we're going to go to the other part in a minute what you want to do is you want to get the ml bit key you want to paste it in here and as you can see you have the daisy what is signed because everything in daisy is signed and now you have your mod which is signed now that should only what you have to do to make it on to your server if it is private and it's just for your server guess what boot up your server now make sure that you have the exact same mod as in your server like this and now you can go and play now i have a tutorial on how to actually publish mods so i'll leave a little gap here for you guys to check out that video once you've done that just download it on the Steam Workshop and you should be able to join your server. But now, if you're making your mod public, as we explained earlier, say you're making a map, and now you have this keys folder here, simply, what all you have to do is put the ML by key in there, publish this, and now anyone else can actually use this on their server. Basically what the key is, this is like a key, and this is like the lock and basically they can both go together and then it works if you do have any problems with this tutorial please do let me know i've been trying to improve all of this stuff recently i want to do tutorials where i explain more to you guys if you want to leave any more other tips maybe that i've missed out please leave them down below in the comments if you do need help with any tutorials or any help with daisy please make sure to join my discord if this did help you out please leave a subscription and a like go ahead and go over and follow my twitch i need some subscribers i may be streaming today also when this video comes out we're gonna be doing some epic map development and i'll see you guys next time adios amigos